Yo, what's up guys, it's me, Paradox Gaming here with a new series. In this series, we are going to be teaching you how to play certain games around Hypixel and some other games in general. Okay, so let's start off with a quick overview of what this series is going to be. So this series is going to be a lot of videos on how to play certain games so they could be high pixel mini games like today we are doing tower wars or they could be other games like i'm going to be recording among us either tomorrow or after this and then there can be any other games like that so it's going to start with a uh, how to so like explaining the game then maybe will be some tips and tricks or some specialized things so for today i will be doing some defense layouts for each map and then we shall get on to uh, the tips and tricks so yeah that is how these videos are going to work so let's start off with part one Timestamps are all in the description so that is good so there are three maps on tower wars and the whole point of the game is to defend against mobs and attack other people with your own mobs so you start off by right clicking on your place tower and select the tower normally you want to start off with some archers because they are the cheapest just put two of them down and then get ready to after the first income you can start summoning monsters so just wait until that and then as soon as you can try and spawn a cave spider because cave spiders are okay mobs at the start but they're not ideal so for example here this is somebody else's that will get past but then again that won't so zombies will split into three chickens are basically useless so what we want is our we want we kind of want them to ignore that because at the moment as you can see all of these but you want to have cosmetic alloy as your um power up because it's the only decent one and it will start as you can see we've stolen a life these will protect you for five but sometimes they don't work i don't know why but once you've got that going, what you want to do is get slime out, you want to get magma, and you want to get a few other things. Now, there's three maps. One of them I really don't like, so I, I don't have a strategy for that. I, if I find that, I'll just leave. Now, you can do the same, or you can make up your own defense. So I'm just going to spam this here to block them. But at the start, it's okay if you let a few in but then you want to put a magma there and we'll go into the full defenses later but as you can see they're stealing from me because i haven't set up a full base yet but hopefully this archer should be able to defend against some of these now we could assist this magma with another magma and we're going to lose a few but it is what it is so we've lost a few and as you can see we're stealing a number from them so as you can see you can cause different things every time you kill a mob or every time you steal a mob for, or spawn a mob or if you steal from somebody but as you can see i'm stealing lives and losing lives at the same time so i've got 21 left now every time this runs out you put it here now to, there's certain mobs you want to summon but the best ones at the start for interest is just one so just uh, the silverfish so just spawn a ton of silverfish get your income up and then you can just place these down and start building your defense so i shall just put these down now these are good at the start and then you can just build up some income spawning a large batch of zombies is also quite a good strategy because zombies split into baby zombies and then you get more damage if they split and don't die so they are also very good and then you have all sorts of different mobs you can read them all on yourselves but i shall be going over the good ones so you want to start off with either the zombies or the or just the cheapest one you can get to use all of your coins so i'm just going to after my next incomes because you want to do them in waves normally unless like they're certain mobs and then i shall just these archers are just for the start because you can't afford anything better but once you're done with them just sell them they're not useful 
and then you can get basically oh that's the wrong thing and then you can get rid of this and then you can just get certain ones out so the main ones that you want are slime magma um and then you're also going to want a guardian so you have a guardian there and then a slime there a slime there i'll go through these later actually no that's wrong but it will be fine for this round and then Actually, no, I'm fussy. I'm just going to sell. I've got enough coins. Um, so I'm going to sell both of these. Now, you, if you were playing a competitive game, then you wouldn't do this because you lose half of the buy price every time you sell it. But I'm rich and I don't really care. Um, I'm just a perfectionist. So you want slimes like that. We'll go through it all later. But for now, this is what we are doing. And then we put that like that. And then... That is eight, so ten. And then this guy is very strong, so he will probably get past, but then he'll get eaten up by our cosmetic alloy and sent to somewhere else. Now, one issue you can, you want to just keep spawning stuff. So, like, stuff like black spiders are pretty good. Sheep are pretty good, the, what, the upgraded sheep. But they upgrade as time goes on. And yeah, you just want to keep getting your income. The main thing you want to do is get your income up and get your defense up and running. So we've just had a massive batch of rabbits come in, which isn't ideal. Somebody obviously saving up and then you just want to keep building up your thing. And what you want for the start, you want the um, magmas because they can shoot more than one things. But as you get further the back, you want to use the Teslas because the Teslas are high DPS, but they only attack one mob. So you have that like that. And then once you have unlocked the piggy bank, you want to just put it on auto summon, which basically means every time you have you are able to summon it, it does summon one. So that has just destroyed all of them. But right now we are going to put Guardian guardian um and then slime slime let me place my slime no we're going to lose some stuff here because i haven't done this played this well but this is just to show off the game and then we want tesla i mean we did still quite a few at the start so we so how many lives do we have we have 18 so it's not too bad 18 lives is you start on 20 so there's a total of so these are all the piggy banks that people are sending because piggy banks are really good but we have our piggy banks on auto summon so just whenever we can we won't have enough gold to ever buy tons because yeah but yeah that's three more gone we are not doing too well here but yeah anyway then you're going to put them down here tesla so hello oh the teslas are already there so then we want to get um, some, probably some villagers if we have enough. But I don't know. Yeah, I'm probably going to take it. Ah, oh, die. Whew, just in time. I'm going to turn my piggy bank off auto summon, yet still summon a load um, because I can. And then I shall put my villager on the end. And then that's good. So you got the villagers on the end, and you got then the guardian. So we shall fast forward, and hopefully we can get second. Now I only have like two wins, but it seems like a pretty good strategy because at the end it's just like a war for most income wins. So like income is oh that's the wrong one. Uh, income is really important because I mean it's not that bad. But yeah, we're going to lose this because I really haven't played this well because I've been trying to speak. But we can give it a go. Just upgrade, upgrade. Yeah, upgrade. Um, and then we can put a villager there. There's a villager there. There's a villager there. And then the witches are really important. Endermen go at the end. So you have like three endermen there because they teleport them back to the start. But they have a long cooldown, so it's, they're not that OP. 
and then we're going to spawn some more piggy banks and then we're going to put a cosmetic alloy so yeah we might we might actually get through this just about and then we're going to put a mob there and then one two three one two three um sell that because anyway so yeah that is how i go on this map and we're about to die. Goodbye game. And we died. Okay, so that is how to play. I now I didn't do anything that well. So yeah, that is how to play. And we lost that game. There's two people left and yeah. So now we shall get on to the part two where we explain the different maps and setups. So this is one map. Now this map I do not have a strategy for and I don't like it because it just goes around in a spiral and there's no symmetry about it. So yeah, I just leave that and join another game and hope for a better map. This is the same map, same lobby. So yeah, that's not ideal. I shall see you guys when we find a game in one of the other two maps. Okay, so we've had to nick because somebody from the guild is trying to snipe me. Get out of here. But we, this is uh, map one, so this is the map that we're going to start off on. And yeah, so we're going to start off on this map and then we shall go on to the second map. So I shall do a quick time lapse of me attempting to set up it. And I don't know why I spawned the wrong mob there, but I did. Um, so yeah, that is good. And I shall do a quick time lapse of me playing this game and hopefully doing something well and getting it all set up. And then I shall show you around the finished base or uh, defense. Okay, so this is what it will look like with nothing upgraded. So I shall just fly around. You've got six Endermen here, and then on each row, on the first row it goes... So this line, so you have five in a row. You've got five Guardians, then you've got Witch, Slime, Miss, Miss, Slime. Then you've got th three sets of Magmas and two sets of Teslas, all in threes. Then you've got... Um, Villager, Slime, Tesla, Witch, and then in in reverse you got the same but in reverse, so Villager, Slime, Magma, Witch, so the only difference is it's Magma instead of Tesla, and then you copy that row over there to here, and then you've got another row here, which is this, those two are the same as those two. So it's pretty organised, but then all you want to do once you've done that is just upgrade them all and summon more monsters. So yeah, I'm going to just keep upgrading and hopefully we can upgrade and win this game. So I shall see you guys in a bit once we have hopefully finished upgrading everything. Okay, so we have now got everything upgraded to full except the massive ones, so like the Giga upgrade. So for different mobs you have choices because you can't upgrade them past and you only get one specialisation. So for all the Guardians you want Mind Control, so I shall put all of them to Mind Control and they're probably the first ones you want to do because Mind Control is really useful. So get all of your mind controls done because yeah it makes them go backwards and take a ton of damage. See and that's really effective because yeah basically means six seconds of free hits. Because you walk back for three seconds and then they need to come back for another three seconds. So yeah, I shall finish upgrading these and yeah, that is them all done. Next things you want to do are slimes. You want to put all of the slimes to sticky towers because Sticky Towers just has mega slow effects and 
it can mean that other monsters of yours just shred through them. So yeah, the getting the sticky tower is really useful. After that, you want to put all of the magma ones on um, Inferno Tower, so all tier 4, and once you've done all of them, you want to do all of the Teslas on the, so these seven, you want to have all of them go to the Tesla Lightning one, I think, uh, slow. Yeah, you want these these lot to be on lightning, and then all of these lots, so these six, to be on beam. So, wait, is it the other way around? Um, range. No, yeah, yeah, you do want it that way around. So, these lot on beam, and then the rest on lightning. So, I shall keep upgrading these until you once we are fully done. But for the meantime, you can also spawn bosses, which are ghasts, which have a ton of HP. They ignore these things, and they just, when they get to the end, if they get to the end, they just spawn back. So I'll see you guys in a bit after this time lapse. Okay, so as you can see now, they are all upgraded, they're all maxed out, and there's a ton of gas, but at the same time, you can't like, see, and they're all maxed out apart from a few that I got, uh, I think there's one that I got wrong. So yeah, that wasn't so ideal, but we are kind of surviving, but at the same time, we're not because we're overloaded with ghasts. Um, hopefully we can steal just as many as we're losing. Now, the be even the best defences won't always win you the game. Now, it's probably not the perfect best defence, but everything's maxed out. Like, I don't exactly know what else I can do. But, yeah, we're about to be overrun. At least we got our full thing. Hopefully we can get a few things... Oh no, yeah, the running iron golems are coming. Then it's all about spawning, but yeah. As you can see, that was the best defense, but because I was concentrating on getting the defense, oh, and they're dead as well. So yeah, this is their defense. They just had a load of the magmas with the towers, and then they just had a load of snipers, which is interesting. It's an interesting defense, but they were just constantly spawning stuff. So we were overrun pretty quickly now this i uh, is the other map so uh wait uh i can't remember no this is the map that we have done so there are three maps there's that one there's one more and there is a final one so there's three two that i will get into and one that i just leave so we've already done this one i'll see you guys once we found a game Okay, so we have finally got into the game. Now, this one I might forget a little bit because, yeah, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure I can remember. But first of all, we just need to go boop, 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 and then put down, uh, summon our starting cave spider and put down our thingy. Now the only other thing to spawn is a sheep, so that's good. Obviously this isn't the most advanced lobby if they're just spawning a single sheep. Um, they're probably a pretty defensive lobby, so I have a feeling I will be able to win this game now. I have spawned a zombie though, so I don't know, because the zombies are really... Zombies and the spiders are the things that can really kill you. But actually, it might not get past. It might be destroyed but hopefully it doesn't like split and then destroy yeah that's what you don't want because then that takes three hits for the thing or three lives but we got our defense thingy now if they both target that that's good and then you want the slime then then go one two there so you want to get that down as early as possible because once that's down it that does some serious damage 
once you've got that down you can start destroying these and then you can start building your proper base so you want slime there that there this here that can get through uh no i did not want you i want you don't let it get through please 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 okay that's fine that's fine um because then you've got that dead and then yeah you just have those three guys coming in so i shall w actually no i might as well put that down now because it doesn't make a huge difference and then you want to wait one so you skip that one one two bonk and yeah as lo as of per last time begin the time lapse huh i just got piggy bank i just scored with a piggy bank he must be pretty bad if he is letting that in so i'm just going to keep on the time lapse and just keep on going the fence is almost done we just need to put nine more things down and then we shall do a proper showcase of it Okay, and I think, I oh know, we've just got these left. But anyway, these are expensive and they have some use, but they are minimal. But yeah, as you can see, we have done all of our things. They're all maxed out. We just need to max out these guys. So that'll cost us around 100k. And then we will just keep putting our piggy bank on auto summon and just spamming them with piggy banks that aren't gonna get anywhere like it's just for the income but yeah so that is what we have now the for the mains it's the same as last time so for all of these you want um inferno tower for all of the magmas and then for these guys you want the lightning ones for these guys and then for these guys you want beam so yeah or you can do them all on beam but sometimes light sometimes lightning is better for those ones so yeah that is what you can do so yeah i shall see you once we have finished maxing them all out and hopefully we can win this game of course it's sticky tower for slimes and the mind control for these ones now i sh we are being attacked and it is an it is a big army that got nowhere denied <laughs> uh, we are going to spawn a few yards and back it up with a ton of creepers and then some dumb zombies and as final line of attack we shall spawn a ton of rainbow sheep now we can see how this works so it is just 1v2 so yep these are actually going pretty well now they do have them so sheep will do not sheep but they will do minimal we are destroying them slowly and um, we can just spawn one of these and then if we can just get them slowly spaced out and then if you can space them out so that everything is targeted on one of these you can just spawn a ton of rainbow sheep and then they just destroy the base so yeah we they do get slowed down a lot though and they are quite squishy so yeah anyway i shall go back and finish off upgrading these good fellas And that is us done. So that is our layout all complete. So we have a row of four Endermen, uh, Villager and four Endermen. You then have three Creepers, Witch, th two Creepers, Slime, and then Guardian. Then you have a Villager on the end, and then you have Guardian, Slime, and then you just... So basically you've got that, 
those two rows are duplicates and then you've got the villager in the middle middle you've got the enderman at the end then you've got this row which is a duplicate of that row apart from the have different main abilities this row is a duplicate of that row and this row and for those these three rows of course you still have the villager at the end because that stop helps them with their effects you have guardian slime um magma 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 and witch so they are all that we have now let's hopefully we can win this game so yeah let's keep pushing with more ghosts like a ton of ghosts like how many ghosts do you need i don't know but that is a lot of ghosts I don't know how they're going to cope, but we will then just put a ton of rainbow sheep, just run through them, because then hopefully they can get through. If not, then that is unlucky, but can they? Yes, some do. So in that case, we need a few more ghasts, and then if we can just, once these ghasts get round and they start targeting them, then they should be able to get all the way through. So if we just slowly keep s summoning these guys, spawning them in, and then either them or the endermites, the endermites, which has more health, 2k, 3k. Yeah, so these are better. We shall now spawn the sheep. So yeah, normally it's best to have combos of like tanks and fast mobs. So in this case, it's sheeps and these guys. So these are the ghasts and basically the ghasts are the tank but they're bosses so the bosses don't increase your income that's why sometimes it's better to do stuff like running iron golems which are kind of a hybrid in between or charge creepers which are kind of less slow give slightly more income slightly more expensive and yeah but we are definitely slowly taking them down and if we keep on throwing our sheep out there they should start chomping through the things pretty quickly so now they have spawned a ton of them on us but our endermen should keep us because we have nine endermen they will set nine of them back each time so yeah let's just keep attacking and hope that we can win this game well that didn't go so well Oh, we got one. Yes, we got one. Uh, we got a few, and yeah, we're screwed. So yeah, because we're going for the defense, it's sometimes better to wait for your defense. Uh, these guys have a pretty, a pretty similar defense. They've got lots of magmas though, and less Teslas. So yeah. I just like having a neat defense and rushing to max everything out so fast isn't necessarily the best idea so yeah and then a few tips and tricks is of course going combos so normally you want a fast and a tank so you put all your tanks in spread them across the thing ideally slow ones and then you summon a ton of fast ones either horses which or some rainbow sheep so they're both good at the start of the game you use the zombies mainly because they split into three and then can take extra so yeah that is good now somebody won the giveaway i shall check that afterwards so after the uh, this episode so i hope you enjoyed it um comment like and subscribe Co make sure to comment any more games that you want me to do of course i'll be doing among us for next week but there are, of course, many other games. Oh, the Hypixel, there are so many. I think I might be doing UHC because, yeah, I am I play UHC enough to know how to play the game. There's less strategy than this game because this Tower Wars is a very strategy-based game. But make sure to be practicing it because I shall be doing another giveaway, a giveaway game, so more of an event than a giveaway, where there will be, of course, six players, but I'll be two, doing two different games with two different sets of players. And in each game, you get 500k or something. So, yeah, that's all good. Apart from that, bye for now. See ya.